Yesterday, Lungta Mahabur, in his talk, he talked about before we actually can do the internal investigation of the body, we should do the external investigation. And the external investigation is whatever we see. <clears throat> if we understand, you know, whatever we see is a projection of our inner self, of our views, of our opinions, and then it is like it is like a slight projector. As long as the slide, or as long as our heart is not completely clear of the kilesas, it, <clears throat> it projects whatever is in the heart onto the things that we see. And that can be people, that can be, that can be uh, landscapes, that can be, that can be houses, that can be trees, that can be flowers. There's always this like and there's always this dislike. And because of this, because of the likes and the dislikes, because of our projection, what we want or what we don't want, you know, we do not see the things clearly. And we can use this you know, as an investigation. For instance, yeah, if one of the monks, you know, makes something stupid, yeah, and uh, anger comes up or anger arises, then we can look at ourselves to find it within ourselves. That's what I mean. That's what, what the, the investigation is about. Looking inside oneself and seeing the same thing that one finds fault with the others in oneself. But of course it is not easy. <clears throat> but there's a lot of work to do. There are so many things that we like, you know, and then we dislike. So we start just start, you know, start just like with the investigation of the body, and we just start with the dislikes. Whatever, whatever arises our anger or whatever makes, makes us angry, whatever, we, whenever, you know, we blame somebody else, you know, look at him, you know, what he's doing, this is wrong, and so on. We look inside ourselves, huh? until we find it. Until we find it, you know, and then, and then we can uproot it. Once we can uproot it, you know, it is not there anymore. And then we see the person in a different kind of light. And if you remember, <clears throat> I mean, we lived all, you know, a certain amount of time in the world. And we all had friends. We all, we all knew persons, you know, some people we liked very much. And we had friends, you know, who disliked the same person. So... It means, you know, I mean, our projection, you know, somebody we like and somebody we dislike, and other people, you know, just have the opposite view of them. Yeah? Some, some things, you know, we like about this person, some things we don't like about this person, and we can all look, you know, in our, in our own heart yeah? for the likes and the dislikes to arrive. If, the, if there are certain things that we like in another, another person, that means we have to develop it in our own heart. Hmm? We have not yet, yeah? we might have a little bit of it, but we might not have yet developed it yeah, to the fullest. So if you see, you know, somebody has a lot of sati, you know, I mean, we, we, should, you know, we should use the opportunity <clears throat> and develop the sati. But the same thing, you know, if you, if you think about, if you, if you see somebody doing something, doing something wrong and we get angry, yeah? and that is very common, you know, especially if you live here in a community, we easily get angered. Uh, I look at him, you know, what he, has he done? Then we have to investigate, yeah? The next time we sit down after our meditation, we take up this, or when it comes up in the reflection, we take up this, you know, and, and really investigate it and look inside the heart. You have to have this, yeah? in one form or for another. Yeah? Maybe it's not so strong. That's why you play mothers. Yeah? But it's still there. Because if it is not there, 
you will not get angry. That is that is the that is the sure sign of us that we have overcome something. We actually, you know, I have met her with this person because we know when we went through it, we know how much suffering he went through. How much this this kind of of uh, of behavior, this kind of of action, you know, causes suffering or causes to come. But as long as we get angry, we know. There's something wrong within us. And we have the same thing. And we can look for it. And I, I promise you, it won't be easy. Because we don't want to admit the fault. We like to see the fault in others. But we don't like to see the faults within ourselves. And that's why we have to realize. I mean, we are, we are not... Holy people, we are not saints. Yeah, we are born here, you know, with 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 enough greed and with enough hatred. Yeah? Otherwise, we wouldn't be born. Yeah? <clears throat> as a human being, yeah? or you know, if you have less greed and hatred, then we wouldn't be born as a as a as a deva. Yeah? And this is something that we have to understand. And this is something that that where our reflection, where our daily reflection can help us. Every encounter with another person mm. that made us angry or that make us frustrated or things like that, we have to look for it. And, and you will find that most of it <clears throat> is rooted in our wrong views and our wrong opinions. And once you see it, that it is, you know, that there is a wrong view, you know, chuck it out. There's nothing to do with this person. Yeah? I mean, see or look at the person as a mirror of yourself. So whatever you see in this person, yeah, that is what is within you. So that is, <coughs> that is, this is very important. And, and Lunga Mahaboy said yesterday, there's a lot of work that we need to do, especially if we live in a community like this. So use, so use your daily reflection in order to, to investigate then these things. It is easier, it is a little bit easier to investigate before we start investigating the, bo the body. Yeah? Because for the body, we not, only, you know, we not only have to investigate the body itself, but we have to visualize it. Yeah? For the things, you know, for the reflection, of our, for the things that we see in others, it is very easy, we don't have to visualize it. The vis visualization of the body is, 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 for most people, you know, very difficult. Yeah? Unless, and unless we, you know, we can visualize, you know, internal organs of the body, yeah? or even, you know, external organs, yeah? like hair of, the, hair of the head, you know, or hair of the body, or nails and teeth, well, when we close our eyes, it, it is not easy for, the, for us to visualize it and to dissect it and to investigate it. So use, use this, you know, use the external investigation to get rid of most of the things, yeah? And then you can, you can meet anybody, you know, and there's no more anger coming up. Huh? There's no more frustration coming up. Hmm? But we don't want to see this frustration coming up because we always, the first moment, yeah? What is coming up? We are right, yeah? We have recht. The other person is at fault. We are never at fault. Yeah. And that is what, what, you know, what, what completely blocks our investigation. Yeah. Then you have to, to tell yourself, no, yeah. you're not right. Yeah. You see something wrong with or whatever you want to do. Yeah. Because this, if, as long as we think, you know, I mean, this person does something wrong and we can see it, yeah, <clears throat> then he is at fault. No, we are at fault. Because if you get angry, as long as we get angry or frustrated or nerved, you know, or whatever it is, yeah, then it is our fault and we have to look in our heart, you know, to find the fault and uproot it. And as I said, most of it is, you know, most of it is based on our <coughs> views and opinions, our, on, on wrong views and opinions, especially about us. 
views and opinion about us, yeah, we think we are so good, we are thinking, we are so clever, we think, you know, we know it better than everybody else, yeah. And that's why we look down, start to look down yeah? on other people and see, ah, oh, look at him, you know, he's not, he's not doing it correctly, he's not doing it correctly. No, we are. The problem is, is, is within us. And if, if, you, if you do this, if we do this investigation or this external investigation and get more and more out, yeah, investigated and up, uproot more and more of these kilesas, yeah, I mean, the better we can harmonize within the community. We don't have any problem. It's the same thing, you know, that I talk often about it, you know. It is his task, you know, he should have done it, you know, it's not my task. This, this, is, al this is also not right. Yeah? There is not, yeah? it is our task, we are a community, you know, but whenever I see something, yeah? just like I saw when I, I went down, you know, at the side of the sala, there was, there was a bucket, you know, standing in the way. Yeah? Who left it there, yeah? People, you know, start something and then they think about something else, you know, and then, and then they forget it. <clears throat> so if you see that, you know, I mean, you don't, you don't get angry, you just put it aside. Yeah. Or if you see a branch on, on, on the path, yeah, then, then, you take it, then you take it away. It's all our task. <clears throat> and then... <clears throat> After we've, after we've done this uh, external investigation, and that, that, won't be, that won't be finished within a week or two weeks, huh? that might take years. So we use this reflection, we use a daily reflection where we see what is going on, where we see our reactions, and then after, after this reflection, you know, we, we use these points you know, and, and investigate. One, just one, it's enough. And you will see, you know, I mean, it, it is very similar. It, it, it will all boil down, you know, to one, one or two views that we, wrong views that we have. <clears throat> it is, this, this, kind of, this kind of investigation is already sharpening, just like the investigation of pain. What is pain? Huh? Looking at what is pain. Where is the pain? How does it feel like? Where exactly is it? Is it changing? And it is changing. If you really look at it, if you really concentrate on that, on, on that part where we think all this pain is, then we see it is changing. It's of changing nature. And then we ask, where is it? Is it, is it in the skin? Is it in the bones? Is it in the flesh? Is it in the tendons? Is it in the muscle? <clears throat> where exactly is it? And the moment we, we get close to the truth, it disappears. And it appears, we appear somewhere else. This kind of pain, you know, especially when we do sitting meditation or when we do walking meditation, and the same happen, can happen in the walking meditation when we get bored, yeah? or when we get tired. You know, what is tiredness? Yeah? Investigate, what is tiredness? What is boredom? Investigate these things, don't take them for granted, don't take them as reality. These things are not real. These things are made up. <clears throat> and we can, we, can, we can fight them, yeah? especially tiredness. Yeah? And we are tired of repeating Buddha. We are not tired, you know. The body is not tired, the mind is not tired. Because if you think about this and think about that, you know, that is not related to meditation. I mean, you, you have lots of energy. Huh? One hour, yeah? Thinking about this, thinking about that, instead of thinking about Buddha, because Buddha is so boring, oh, I'm so tired, I'm so tired. But then we start to think about something else, and then our mind goes, you know, for hours. Huh? So we're actually not tired. Huh? There's somebody, you know, suggesting, this inner voice of the Kilesa is suggesting that we are tired, that it is enough now with our meditation, that we stood, should stop meditation, and that, that we should go to sleep. Hmm? Because at sleep, I mean, the Kilesa still work at sleep, yeah? They, they start with all these dreams. Yeah? 
And when we wake up in the morning, they are confused by all these dreams. They think they are also, just like, the th just like during the day, they think, you know, this is real. It has some meaning. Yeah? There's no meaning to it. Just like, we are just like daydreaming, there's no meaning to, it, to these dreams. Yeah? Whatever you want to reveal within your heart, I mean, you just look at your heart and reveal it there. Yeah? That, is, that is more proper. Yeah? But the dreams don't reveal anything. <clears throat> but you know the kilesas make us make us certain. Ah, this this must have some meaning. This must have some meaning. There's a difference between dreams and, and nimittas. Yeah, nimittas are something different. They normally do have a meaning. But these these are more like awake dreams or lucid dreams. Yeah? Nimittas. But even then, you know, if we had a, a very interesting nimitta coming up. It can happen some, sometimes. We don't understand it yet. And we shouldn't ponder about it because, you know, our practice has not been up to this level that we can understand it. And years later, you know, we might be able to understand it. I refer to one of the stories of Lumpuman, you know, where he had an imita and where he couldn't make sense of the imita. Until three years later, he understood it, yeah? So, I mean, it is not necessarily clear or it is not necessarily true that we instantly have to understand when we see a nimitta. But we don't forget this nimitta. Yeah? That is something, it is something like an insight, you know, that is burned within our heart, you know, when the time comes and when we are at the right level of, of, of our practice, you know, then, then this nimitta becomes clear and, and, and the meaning becomes clear and we understand. <clears throat> so going back to investigation, yeah, don't don't get be fooled, you know, by pain, yeah? because the moment, yeah, just try it out, just try it out two or three times until you're clear. Yeah? You get up from your seat, yeah, from your meditation seat, and there's no more pain. So this kind of pain is magic, ha. Huh? And that's the same thing with tiredness. The moment you think about something else, the tiredness is gone. Okay, yeah. But they make, the kilesas really make you believe, oh, you're so tired, you can't really do anything anymore. And then you think about something exciting and you go on for hours. Yeah? They fool you. So try it out. Yeah? Try it out three times until you see. Yeah? And each time you tell yourself, so they fooled me, so they fooled me, so they fooled me. Until, until the heart understands it and the Kilesas have a hard time to fool you again. And then you see, okay, tiredness is just, you know, not inter being not interested in the Buddha or not being interested in the breath or not being interested in the investigation anymore. Mm. And the same thing with restlessness, the same thing with, with boredom. Huh? The same thing, what is boredom? You know, I mean, ask these things. What is boredom? How does it feel like? Where is it located? Huh? And the moment you get interested in boredom, I mean, boredom has disappeared. Because it cannot stay, you know, it's just the opposite of interest. Yeah? If you're interested in something, even if you're interested in, in investigating boredom, I mean, boredom goes instantly away. Huh? Don't get fooled, you know, by, by all these labels that Kilesas has put on to it. Yeah, ask them. We have to investigate whatever, you know, whatever comes up as a hurdle, yeah, <clears throat> as a hindrance, we have to investigate. Tiredness, sloth, torpor, pain, boredom, restlessness. What is restlessness? Ask yourself, how does it feel? It is very difficult. Restlessness is a very difficult feeling. You cannot pinpoint it down to anything. It is just like everything, you know, I mean, it is like, like the, the, all the atoms, you know, are going off in different directions. It's like a, you know, like a bomb in ourselves, you know, that wants to explode. Until, until we focus all this energy into one point and then this restlessness is gone. But you... 
you have to investigate it for yourself. You have to see it. You have to do it maybe three times, maybe ten times eh? to see it. Don't get fooled by these things. No? Don't, don't get fooled by these labels that the Kilesas love to put on. Eh? I'm hungry, I need to eat something, I, I'm thirsty, I need, or even I need to go to the toilet. Yeah? How often do we need to go to the toilet? Not very often. Yeah? Yeah, you're just in the middle of two hours of, of sitting in meditation, and the meditation is going well, and then suddenly, you know, the urge comes up to go to the toilet. A stupid thing. Yeah? You don't need to go. <coughs> And then once, once we do all this kind of investigation, then we can go to the investigation of the body. And as Lunga Mahabhava said, if we can't investigate our own body, we can use the investigation, we, we can use the body of somebody else. Yeah? So we can dissect, if we don't want really to dissect our own body yet, then we can take somebody else's body and dissect it. And just get the image of the other body, you know, and then start, you know, with a knife, you know, a really sharp knife, you know, and, and cut it up or cut it in half and then look at each side, yeah? Or just take the skin off and then look at it. And then take this organ out and that organ out. If you don't want to do it for your own body, you know, do it on, on, on somebody else's body. That's fine. <clears throat> Sooner or later you will be so... You will be so <coughs> So skilled that you can do it with your own body. And you have to understand, you know, when we do body investigation, that anger will come up. Not while we do the investigation. While we do the investigation, it is quite interesting, actually. Yeah? It is quite interesting, and we can, be, we, we can really get absorbed in this kind of investigation once we have some visual visualization of it already, and then it becomes very interesting. But the moment you stop this investigation, you will feel a lot of irritation coming up. And whatever you see, you feel irritated about it. And that is the result of your investigation of the body, and actually shows you that the investigation of the body, you know, actually brings results. Because that is one of the side effects that we want to have. We want to see the irritation that is connected to the body. <clears throat> and we want to learn how to deal with this irritation that is connected to the body, or we want to learn how to deal with the anger that comes up. Yeah? Sometimes it comes up very, or sometimes it comes up disgust. We want to learn to deal with all these things, with all these feelings, with all these emotions that come up yeah? after we do our investigation of the body. And that's why, if you can't deal with it, okay, stop for the investigation for a little while until you calm down, and then calm down again with samadhi, huh? until you feel, uh, until you feel apt, in, apt enough yeah, to do it again, and then start doing it again. Huh? We don't have to uh, push through, you know, that, that is not good. Yeah? If you feel, you know, you can't deal with the anger that comes up or the irritation that comes up and let the irritation out on somebody else, that is the worst thing that you can do, then stop it for a while, you know, and then and go and rest in samadhi. Yeah? And once you once you're rested in samadhi and your mind is clear again, then go again and do the investigation. Okay, that's enough for today. You have questions? This is what? This was so should say. In the beginning, in the beginning, you know, when we do investigation of the internal organs, of course we will have, you know, we will have the images, you know, that we saw, yeah, in, in medical journals, you know, or on on the internet, yeah, and we can use these, yeah? but we will not be able, you know, if it is an image, we will not be able to cut it open, yeah, and see what is inside, yeah? only if we have seen, you know, if we have seen a movie about this, yeah. The anatomical, you know, lessons, you know, where they actually cut it up, then we can see it. Yeah? <clears throat> Use it, you know, I mean, it, it is quite helpful. Yeah? 
Until you get, you know, you will see it, you know, it, it, it will have a different kind of effect on you yeah, once it gets real. It takes some time, yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah. Use the images that you can use. Yeah. But, but they are not in the state of mind. They don't know that you just did, you know, body investigation. You, no. If the anger comes up, no matter what, yeah, we should learn how to deal with it. How do we deal? It is the same thing, you know, I mean, the, the, uh, the sharpening, the sharpening of our knife of wisdom, you know, is investigating of pain. So when irritation comes up or when anger comes up, we stop, you know, we use buddha, 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 and then look at the feeling of anger. And so, and then we look at the location of the anger. And if you use the buddha, or if you use the breath, then the anger will die down very quickly. And the moment we stop it, the anger comes up again. And then we look at it, we don't let it out, yeah? We stop it again with a buddha or with, with, the, with the breath meditation until it dies down. And we do it as often until we see what is the cause of the anger. Because the cause of the anger is hidden by the emotion or by the feeling of anger itself. So we want to, we really want to understand what is, what is behind this anger. What kind of view, what kind of thought, what kind of memory came up, you know, that pulls up this anger? Hmm? That's why we don't want to let it out. It's not, you know, the others, of course, you know, most of them might be able to deal with it. But if he is already, you know, if he already done, you know, you did it at the same time and then you go at each other. Eh? Because you're not in control. We never let out. Eh? And, or we try not to let out. You know, these kind of feelings, yeah? like greed, you know, when we feel greed, you know, we stop it. Hmm? Just like Nungda Mahabur once told, you know, I mean, he, he was coming back from Pindapad, you know, and he's carefully, you know, sorting his bowl, you know, putting the food in there, you know, and then he saw all this greed coming up, and then he said, put the bowl aside, you know, and went off. He didn't want to eat, he didn't want to give in to the greed. And that is the same thing for us. Yeah? We shouldn't, when we see, you know, enormous grief is coming up, then we shouldn't eat. Yeah? Better to fast. Yeah? Instead of giving in to the grief. And that is the same thing for the hate. Yeah? Instead of giving in to the hate and letting it out. Giving in to the hate means letting it out on somebody else. Yeah? Or throwing it on somebody else. And well, what is he going to do? He's going to throw it back to us. And then our hate becomes even stronger, and then it throws it back to them, and then they throw it back to us, you know, until we start to use fists, yeah? And beat each other up. Now, what's the use of that? Yeah? Now, stay with it. As I told you, you know, stay, see the irritation, and calm it down with the Buddha, or calm it down with the breath, yeah? And then stop the breath, or stop, you know, Buddha meditation, and see it's coming up until you get the until you get the thought, or until you get the memory, or whatever there is behind it. We have to see what is behind it. And then we can investigate this thought, or this memory, if it is true or not, yeah? and then uproot it, if we are able to. And then the, the, this stops this anger in the future. Yeah? Okay, understood? Now, for me, Jo te meti tu, na? Pum kapai mot. Hmm. Lua yo. Ha?
Tai dame. Kai, oi. Oi, oi, tai. Kop mai kai pai. ไปวันนี้ค่ะมีกี่คนที่ไปวันนี้ไปกันหมดแล้วค่ะคุณไปตรงก่อนคุณไปไหนอ๋อที่มาจากกาลสิน <coughs> 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 ตรงสะพานตรงใกล้ๆเออดีจังค่ะคุณเวลาหลับตาก็นั่งที่ไหนก็ได้ก็เปิดตาก็ก็เห็นอยู่อยู่สวยนะที่ศาลาเก่าก
กิเลสที่ออกมาที่นี่ไม่เหมือนที่บ้านนะที่บ้านก็นั่งสมาธิสบายมันสงบง่ายนะที่นี่โอ้โหมันลำบากเนี่ยถามกบนะนี่สาเหตุที่เขาก็อะก็ไม่เป็นไรก็ก็มีประโยชน์เวลาเมื่อเมื่อภาวนาที่บาทมีประโยชน์มากนะนะเข้าใจไหมก่อนก่อนทำอะไรเวลาเดินขึ้นมาก่อนั่งภาวนาสี่สิบานาทีอย่างน้อยสี่สิบานาทีหรือหนึ่งชั่วโมงก่อนทำนี่หรือทำโน่นนะปู่ก่อนไปทำงานนั่งภาวนาเออย่างน้อยสี่สิบานาทีทำให้ใจสงบที่ที่ที่ความฝันที่ขึ้นมาก็ลบลบลบลบลบไม่ต้องสนใจนะทำให้ใจสงบและไปไปทำงานไปทำนี่ไปทำโน่นไปทำนั่นเวลากลับมานะก็เหมือนกันนั่งนั่งนั่งภาวนาและลบทั้งหมดไม่คงเอาไม่สนใจเกิดอะไรขึ้นในทำงานนะเลยเกี่ยวเกี่ยวกับคนนี้คนนู้นก็ไม่สนใจนะทำให้ใจสงบนะลบทั้งหมดนะมันมันเอาเอายังลบนะลบไม่เห็นอะไรมันนะวางไปหมดนะและหลังจากนี้ก็ก็พิจารณาดูเกิดเกิดขึ้นอะไรมันก็มีปัญหาอะไรบ้างนาทีที่เกิดขึ้นกลางวันนะนะทำนี่ทุกวันนะไปในสองปีนะมันมันมันสบายไปหมดนะไม่มีปัญหากับใครเนี่ยมันพิจารณาด้วยพิจารณาภายนอกนะโอเคเข้าใจแต่มันทำมันง่ายทำไม่ง่ายนะปกติคนเราเริ่มอธิเกียรติการไม่อยากทำนะมันช่วงแรกก็มันมันช้ำไม่อยากช้ำไม่อยากช้ำนะคนเลียวที่คนเราพูดไม่อยากช้ำนะครับตรงพ่อเอพ่อป่าว่าจะทำกันที่ยี่สิบหกเรื่องนี้มันก็คุยกันภายในนะแล้วปอกวันที่ยี่สิบหกยี่สิบหกตุลาหรืออะไรพิจิตรตุลาโอเคแล้วแต่วันเสาร์สิบหกวันเสาร์โอเคกว่าเล็กๆนี่แหละอ่าใช่ไม่ต้องไม่ต้องเยอะนะครอบครัวครอบครัววัดเอ๊ะไม่ไม่ได้เห็นภัยปุ้นก็มานานนั่นภัยผิดต่อได้ก็บอกให้ข่าวเขาอยู่เอ๊ะภัยปุ้นนะทั้งทั้งทั้งพรรษาในพรรษาก็ไม่ได้เห็นมาหลวงพ่อก็บอกข่าวพวกนี้หลวงพ่อมีปุ้นไม่ไม่รู้มาเมื่อไม่ได้มาก็ไม่สนใจนะคนที่ไม่มาแล้วก็ไม่สนใจนะขอการหลวงพ่อไอ้ให้โยมอยู่ได้อยู่ค่ะเอาปัญหาแล้วให้อยู่ได้อยู่ค่ะอยู่ได้หลวงพ่อยังไม่ได้พูดอะไรนึกว่าจะไปแล้วมาเมื่อเมื่อเมื่อคนเมื่อผู้หญิงก็ไม่ยุ่งนะนะมันก็อยู่ต่อไปอยู่ต่อไปไม่เหมือนที่ยอมผ้านะกำลังยุ่งนะไปเองนะ